Neff. Are you single? Are you available? I am and, not. Um, and Dr. Timothy Rankin <laughs> over next to Jackie, uh, both from Broadlawns. And I uh, want to talk a little bit about Broadlawns because uh, as uh, Dr. Neff just said before the cameras turned down, this is not the Broadlawns that people have come to know. This right. is a new and better Broadlawns that we want to tell you all about here today. First of all, um, we need to find out, uh, Dr. Timothy, is how you got to over to Broadlawns. Well, as we alluded to before, Broadlawns was looking to kind of change the way they'd done orthopedic care in the past. They were wanting something that was more stable and long term and just improve the overall quality. So I had a practice that was successful up in Washington State and I was looking to come back to the Midwest, be closer to my family and where my parents uh, grew up and where my wife uh, grew up. So we were looking to come to the Midwest and uh, looked at, at Broadlawns, liked what they were doing. They've changed the mindset there rather than trying to grow surgeons into um, good, productive, uh, successful surgeons. They try to find people that are established in successful practices and now bring them to Broadlawns. And I fit the bill. So we came to Des Moines, came, saw Broadlawns, saw Des Moines, loved the little city. It's just got so much to offer. We fell immediately in love and that's why we're here. Well, there Dr. Scott and Neff folks have heard this name around Des Moines for a long time, but you weren't over at Broadlawns. <coughs> Tell everybody uh, where you were and what made you move over. Well, I was in private practice in Des Moines for 30 years, and Broadlawns approached me and said, we want to improve orthopedics and uh, improve the quality, improve the penetration into the market. And I knew that they'd been talking with Dr. Rankin, and I thought two of us would make a good pair, so I quit private practice and have been full-time at Broadlawns now for almost two years. Mm -hmm. That's a heck of a commitment. Permanent commitment. It's mm -hmm. been wonderful. It's been delightful. So Everything we've asked for, they've given us. So tell us about the positives when it comes to Broadlawns and orthopedic patients. Rankin and I have taken Broadlawns from an okay place that was functioning in the 50s to a place that's doing up-to-date quality orthopedics. Everything we've asked them for, they've gotten us. New wires, new this, new that. So we're doing quality orthopedics there now, just like you'd get in Iowa City, Mayo's, anywhere else. Up-to-date, new stuff. I think they wanted old guys that had a track record <laughs> and, they were, and they were tired of training kids. So they got two old guys, both of us with long, good track records. You, with you experience go. is what you have, because I know you've worked on some pretty prominent people in the in your 30-year history, and you know we've had a chance to know some of the people that you worked on and did some incredible work. But uh, let's just ask a question that people out there might be asking right now. You hear Broadlawns. Who can go to Broadlawns? There's a, a misconception that not everybody can go to Broadlawns. We're delighted to see anyone. Anybody. Anybody. You don't need a referral. All you need is a really? phone number. Absolutely. See, Okay. Well, usually in a situation, yeah. especially orthopedic surgery or surgeons, you, you would need a reference to go say, Absolutely not. see you guys. Absolutely not. Okay. Then we have family practice, we have pediatrics, we have OB, we have internal medicine, we have orthopedics, we're building up our specialty clinic, we now have interventional pain. There's a whole lot of things out there that weren't there five years ago. And even just have, five years ago? Even three years ago. Okay. And you don't need a referral, we just, we're happy to have you call. There you go. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about orth orthopedic surgeons and, and orthopedic care, what exactly are we talking about for people that might not be 100% familiar well, with Well, we're both general orthopedic surgeons, and what that means is that we aren't su subspecialized <coughs> in one thing. We don't simply do hand. We don't simply do reconstructive surgery. We don't simply do sports. We do all of it, and we have a spine specialist who helps us on our spine um, surgeries. So we can take care of all the fracture care, all of the reconstructive surgery for the shoulder, the hip, the knee. Um, we can do ankle arthroscopy, knee arthroscopy, shoulder and elbow, and fix your rotator cuff at the same time we can uh, do your total knee replacement. So we take care of almost all of that to include fracture work. Um, there are a few fine things that we don't deal with. And if we don't feel we can deliver that care as well as it can be done by a subspecialist, we can certainly send that out. Uh, the good thing is we, you know, Broadlands takes all form of insurance. They are really good about working with people financially so that they can set up payment plans, et cetera. We always say you shouldn't have to have to mortgage your house so you can get your appendix taken out. You know, mm -hmm. Broadlands is really, they recognize what, of a, what a stress it can be for people to get things done, and so they're working with people to get that done. Now, I'm sure there's some people who haven't been over to Broadlands for years. Is there any chance if anybody wants to come over and take a look around, do they ever have that opportunity? Oh, absolutely. Every day they got <clears throat> We have a whole staff that if someone wants to come and take a tour, we can show them the new OR, show them the brand new rooms, the new beds, so forth. Yeah, we do that quite a bit. 
people are relatively surprised. I was going to say, people probably don't, don't recognize you it, know, do especially they? Especially who, people who've been in Des Moines all their life or a long time are surprised. And we hear all the time, well, this isn't what I expected. This isn't what I expected. This well, maybe you're new to the community. Where would we find Broadmont? 18th and Hickman. Okay. It was a brand new big office building that says medical office building. It was just opened a year and a half ago. Um, the hospital is interesting, kind of like Methodist and Mercy, you've got stuff from the 20s, the 30s, the 50s, the 70s, and now <laughs> brand, brand new. It's a historical site at the same it time. Is historical. <laughs> it is a historical site. Now, both of you guys also have military experience. That's correct. Is that correct? Yes. And how does that benefit everyone? Well, I think, I, I got out of the Air Force as Lieutenant Colonel, Dr. Rankin got out of the Army as Lieutenant Colonel. Both of us have had not only high quality medical experience, but running an institution or running a staff. Mm -hmm. And we have been able to not just improve what we do, but improve the quality of the staff around us for going from the ER to the OR to the recovery to our clinic. I think not being in command helps, but having having run something more than just one person gives you a good idea and, and some experience on doing that. This this feels like a really good tag team, doesn't it? Jack? It's a wonderful tag team. Yeah. It feels great. It it's really wonderful does. hearing about a local uh, facility like this continuing to improve <clears throat> over the years, as you said, just even the last couple of years. Well, Mr. Jenner, our CEO, has a dynamic visionary, and what he wants to do is make Broadlands into a high-quality community hospital just like anybody else around and take it away from that reputation of 30 years ago of, of it being the last stage. Right. So now he wants to make a high quality personal care community hospital and I think he's doing a beautiful job accomplishing that. Well, well we may have go. to go on over there because I haven't been there for years. You can come over even if you're healthy. Even, even if, you're, if healthy? you're healthy. No. <laughs> well, I'm not so sure I'm healthy, but I'll be over there anyway. But no. it, it is honored to meet you guys. Yeah, and thank it's, you. It's really cool to see what you're doing over at Broadlines. It's and exciting. Yeah, I think we definitely have to go check this place out. Definitely some great experience mm -hmm. there and a great thing happening here in Central Iowa. Dr. Neff, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, nice buddy. To see and you. Dr. Rankin, good thank to see you, you as well. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Right. It's 10 minutes before uh -oh, 8 o'clock. He's got his card well, out low. He fell and break something. Give me a call. <laughs> okay. I got this foot thing I want to talk about. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> Step on a cable. We'll we talk do about that. that in just a little bit. We'll be right back. This is a great day. I got his card.